how's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal, and welcome to another banner reaction. Uh, looks like we've got another normal banner reaction. Uh, it looks like we're probably gonna be getting rearmed Plumeria. Um, and, uh, well, so I think it's gonna be Genealogy, but, uh, I don't know, it could be Thracia. People have been hyping up Thracia, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let us go. And we are starting with- wait, this is Thracia? That's Thracia music. Okay, Thracia. Oh, it's said. To inherit a divine weapon to Oh my god, Ascendant said. To carry on nice. the, of the Crusaders. Nice! He is actually one of my most wanted Ascended units. Oh my god, is he just spamming... Blazing Wind? I'm going Oh my god, Infantry Pulse 4! Oh, that is... Oh, that for SETI animation is cool. Alright, who can it be? Lo no one? Uh, we're missing a lot of people. Oh, Fabale? Wait, so this is a genealogy one then? Are they mixing that? I may be, yeah, are they mixing the and matching with genealogy in Thracia? Air do you fell? I guess we're saving normal you fell for Bridget? Alright, another My hex blade. That's kind of cool. Patty, maybe? Uh, oh, uh, Fee. Okay. Another green haired, short haired, uh, Pegasus Knight in the three and four star pool. Interesting. Uh, alright, reposition. Gotta love that. Aerobatics three. That's kind of interesting. Aerobatics four incoming soon? And then, yeah, we all saw this coming. This is going to be, uh, what's her face? Plumeria. Yes, I know people's names. All right, yeah, no surprises there. It's looking pretty fine. The of the dream nectar will never fade from my memory. All right, I'm actually pretty excited to get that blue tome. Uh, well, we'll read that later. Oh, we're getting tier four ploy skills. It's about time. Those skills kind of do nothing. I really like the animation. Really cool. Uh, with Northern gone. Okay, um, yeah. They said, okay, let's see who the, uh, oh, is that, um, is that Arian? Yeah, that's Arian. Oh my god. And he's wielding the, uh, ah, shit, I forgot what it was called. Uh, but whatever his holy weapon was, I knew he was gonna be the one because Travant didn't have it. Okay, interesting. Shit, what was it? What's it called? <laughs> whatever, I- whatever, let's just, uh, we got plenty to read, so let us, uh, dive right into it. So here is Sed, oh my god, he is looking- he is looking fine. He is voiced by, uh, Philip Reich, and the artist is Riz3, and my god, it's looking really good. Really fine, I really like that a lot. Uh, and he is representing two games, apparently. Uh, these dual game ones are interesting, and I like how his outfit almost looks kind of like, um, almost looks like leaves a little bit. I don't know if that's how the, uh, sage outfit's supposed to look like. I guess it kind of is. Uh, I like the bill and cape a lot. It's about time we got some more droop draw representation, am I right? Uh, okay, we can see he did some area effect here for some reason. I guess he does have Special Spiral 4, so it probably does have synergy. Uh, so yeah, let's take a quick look. So, aired for SETI. Accelerates special trigger cooldown count minus 1. At start of turn, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants attack and speed plus 6 to unit for one turn, and grants special cooldown count to- or minus 1 to unit. Okay, so we're just blazing into blazing wind. I- I like that. Uh, at start of combat, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, as our comment, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants attack and speed plus 6 to unit during combat, reduce damage from foe's first attack during combat by 30%, and deals damage equal to X% percent of unit speed when special triggers. X equals the unit's max special cooldown count times 10 uh, plus 20. Uh, okay. So, uh, with that, it should be... With Blazing Wind, it should be uh, 50%. So 50% of speed is pretty freaking good. Especially if we're considering this is a really fast unit, which I don't doubt that he's going to be. Uh, surprised he doesn't 
do like a follow, like a brave attack kind of, or like a desperation sort of attack, uh, just because that's kind of how Forsetti works in uh, genealogy. Uh, but apart from that, uh, yeah, he's looking mighty fine. Looks like he's gonna be spamming specials all day, and that sounds pretty cool. So yeah, it's not like overboard, it doesn't do anything crazy, it's just a lot of damage, it seems to be pivoting towards an area of effect uh, sort of playstyle, and I, I think that's pretty good. Uh, Blazing Wind, he has attack speed ideal 4, which you probably want to replace with a uh, finish, just because that gives uh, extra 5 attack. Um, Special Spiral 4, always great to get in the normal summon pool. That, that skill is getting kind of easy to get nowadays, honestly. And then Infantry Pulse 4, this is interesting. So at start of turn, if unit's special cooldown count is at its maximum value, brand special cooldown count minus one to unit. Oh my god, so it's just kind of like uh, times pulse three. Interesting. At start of turn, if any infantry ally's special cooldown count is at its maximum value, or or and that ally's H max HP is less than unit's max HP, grand special cooldown count minus one to that ally, stacked with similar skills. Um, that's like the same thing, right? That's like the same thing as Infantry Pulse 3. So Infantry Pulse 4 is just the same combined with Times Pulse from what I can tell. Uh, so, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah, so with this kit, he's going to be able to charge into Blazing Wind from turn 1, and then after combat, he, uh, he should, if the the enemy doesn't have any sort of tempo or guard effect, uh, he should be able to uh, recharge Blazing Wind back up with Special Spiral 4. So yeah, he's just going to be uh, spamming Blazing Wind all over the place. So overall, seems like a pretty good unit. Uh, I don't know if he's like super good, um, but definitely really excited that he's in the game. Or not in the game, in the game, but finally glad that he gets some love, you know, because I always thought said could be a really good candidate for... An ascended unit although like it's just like his sage class honestly I don't know what counts as being an ascended unit anymore I think they just kind of make up whatever at this point uh, all right here is for I if you guys don't know this is the son of Bridget the brother of Patty uh, the cousin of a billion people uh, the nephew of e, e Dane and Andre, uh, I'm okay. I'm just I'm geeking out on genealogy anyways. Uh, so this is Fabeo. He is a blue um, Bow infantry. I don't know how many of those we have in the normal summon pool I don't think too many honestly, so that could be pretty cool uh, He's voiced by Paul Castro jr. Who I don't know who that is off the top of my head and the artist is Neko Moshi and they did a really good job Honestly, he's looking mighty uh, mighty fine uh, I was about to say Mighty Swell. Um, okay. So, here is his kit. Oh my god, he's coming with physical null follow-up. Um, that is good. Okay, so, aired, you fell. Accelerate special trigger, cooling count minus one. Effective against flying units, or foes. Uh, if unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants everything plus five to units. Grants attack and, sp attack and speed plus X to unit. X equals 25% of foes attack at start of combat. Minus eight for a minimum of zero or a maximum of ten. Um, okay, uh, quick maths here. Uh, so eighteen. What's eighteen times uh, four? Eighteen times four is seventy-two. So if your opponent has seventy-two attack, then you'll get the max ten uh, uh, extra damage or not extra damage. Uh, attack and speed. So you know we're at that point where seventy-two. Uh, attack is not even that far-fetched anymore, honestly. So it's kind of cool how he gets more powerful as his opponent does. I don't know what this has anything to do with you, Fell. Um, but all right. Neutralize effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit and reduce da damage from foe's first attack by 3% during combat and also restore 7 HP to unit after combat. Okay, all right. So uh, yeah, honestly, a pretty decent weapon. Um, yeah, it's just big damage. Um, everyone's getting 30% damage re 
reduction at this point. Um, he's getting half of tempo. Honestly, he's not a bad weapon. I don't think he's going to be sticking up the meta or anything, but really happy that he's here. I think it's about time the Yingbi uh, family gets more love. When are we getting normal Bridget game? Come on. Um, but apart from that, really glad that he is here. So, uh, yeah, cool. There, he has Luna. I don't remember if he has Luna or if he comes with Luna in um, uh, genealogy. I think you can if you make... Uh, True Lane, his father. So there's that. Uh, okay, so speed resistant text blade. So that's just the speed and resistance version. It's uh, cool to get this in the normal summon pool now. Although I think most people still want to get attack and speed version, but this I guess isn't a terrible like substitute, you know, because you're really only there for the hex blade portion of it, the adaptive damage, because that is really freaking good. And he also comes with physical no follow up. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Uh, seems like a lot of people are really buying into that now. Even if without like full uh, damage reduction, uh, having no follow-up and minus speed and defense is pretty good. So yeah, overall, seems like a pretty decent kit. Just slap on a decent C skill like, I don't know, times pulse 4 and you'll be good to go. Yeah, so uh, really happy that he's finally in the game. It's about time. It is about time. We need more genealogy people. All right, this is Fee. This is uh, the daughter of, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Aranis, yes, Aranis, uh, and the sister of Sed, so that's pretty cool. Voiced by Kristen McGuire, and the artist is Yuko. And uh, yeah, she looks pretty good. Um, and she is a sword flying unit, so uh, yeah, she's gonna be... <laughs> You know, inheritable weapon, so I'm sure she'll be decent, a uh, free-to-play option, merge project, whatever, if she has a decent uh, build, or stat line, but apart from that, yeah, yeah, you know, she's there. I'm glad she's there, you know, it's about time. Um, and she can, you know, join Arthur and everything, but apart from that, I'm not super excited about this. Um, if Protection Edge doesn't look too interesting, if unit is within three spaces of an ally, grants... Attack and speed, or attack and defense plus five to unit inflict special cooldown charge minus one on foe per attack during combat. Yeah, just attack and speed plus guard. It's it's whatever. Um, I mean it's always good to get repo uh, fodder, so not not upset about that. And aerobatics. I don't know if anyone in the three and four star pool has aerobatics to be honest. Um, but maybe when aerobatics four comes out, she will be pretty useful for the inheritance. But as it stands now, yeah, it's just cool to see her. I'm just really happy to uh, see more Droop Droll representation. It's about fucking time, honestly. And that's a cool sword. It looks pretty cool. All right, here's our rearmed units. Everyone's favorite, uh, fairy of nightmares. Uh, specifically like wet dreams which i don't really consider that a nightmare honestly <laughs> um so anyways uh so this is plumeria we know she is a blue tome flyer from data mines and all that shit uh she's voiced by nicole ghost and the artist is kine own and yeah she looks pretty cool i uh, looks really freaking good honestly uh yeah let's take a look at this kit because it's a bit different than what uh, we ended up getting um, in the Tempest Trial. So, uh, and I never write Arcane Euphoria, so let's take a quick look at that. So she comes with uh, Arcane Euphoria, accelerate special cooldown, uh, trigger cooldown count minus one at start of combat. If unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants everything plus five to unit. To unit. unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, deals damage equal to 15% of unit's attack. Um, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30% during combat. So yeah, honestly, uh, not not a bad one. It's probably better for slower uh, mages, honestly. Or either slow or mages with mediocre speed. Uh, but that bonus attack based off of attack, that is scary. Like, you're just going to add more attack and then get more attack from the 15%. So 15%... Um, that would mean it's about, um, every six, 
every like seven, six or seven points of attack gets an extra one attack. Something like that, um, if my math is serving me correctly. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I feel like they could have gone with 20%, but I guess they were a little too afraid for too much damage. But it is what it is. Uh, she comes with Cloying Dreams, which I'm guessing is her own special um, ability or skill. So, she grants another action to target ally. Uh, grants a everything plus 5 charge and foe penalty doubler to target ally for one turn. Inflicts minus 5 to everything on nearest foes within 5 spaces of target ally through their next actions. What the f- Fuck, that is so good. Extra stats, charge, charge. That is really freaking good. Like, my god, that is so insane. Um, and then faux penalty doubler when you're already, like, and she also inflicts the penalties. That is a pretty decent, like, combo meal there. You know, that is, cloying dreams seems really good. I wouldn't be surprised if this is, like, what Plumeria's, uh, like, regular Plumeria's uh, remix will be. Maybe just include Cloying Dreams. And that would be perfectly fine because that is insanely good. Like, my god, that is that is insane. Uh, she comes with Steel Water, S Still Water 4, which is, you know, it is whatever. Uh, Wings of Mercy 4, that is extremely good as a rearmed unit. If you get copies of her, you give this out to your Gale Force team members and you're gonna be set in sail really well so uh yeah anyways here is the new ploy skill defense res ploy 3 at the start of player phase or enemy phase if any foes within three rows or three columns centered on unit has resistance less than units resistance plus five um inflicts minus seven uh, defense resistance ploy and exposure on those foes through their next actions that is really freaking good and then ploy has like a billion other shit so it neutralizes bonus doubler treachery and grand strategy effects active on unit during combat through units next action okay so they just nerfed the fuck out of robin that is really insane i mean granted this only works if you have more resistance or more resistance plus five of your resistance. Uh, but I think Plumeria is a pretty slow but res heavy unit. So therefore, she's basically gonna be ploying everyone. And oh my god, they fucked up Grand Strategy. And why Grand Strategy? And, like, oh, I guess Bonus Doubler, Treachery, and Grand Strategy are more are all like the skills that depend on the stats of the unit so I guess it makes sense but god damn Robin hasn't even been out for a year and he's got fucked like imagine putting this on like gatekeeper I think gatekeepers resistance is decent right or or C citrine citrine's already a fantastic unit but give her this I think she could be pretty good I feel like a lot of units would be pretty good a lot of supporting units um, clearly, this Plumeria is gonna be really good with it, but, oh my god, I'm actually really impressed with it. Her weapon is good, her special dance is extremely good, she comes with Wings of Mercy 4, which is extremely, extremely good, and this ploy skill, I think, is gonna be a must-have, especially in things like Summoner Duels, especially in things like Summoner Duels. This is a skill that is almost required because... Legendary Robin is kind of running rampage. He's just too freaking good sometimes. So my God, this is this is really gonna turn the meta around. I'm actually pretty excited about that. That is insane. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at her attack animation. Gotta love the nightmare vines coming out. Really cool. We've come a long way since year one, man. Alright, so I guess officially we have over a thousand units in Fey. So, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that's revealed. It just shows, like, oh, we get two sparks. Hey, I'm cool with that. I love, you know me, I love the sparks. Also, no colorlesses. That is good, because colorless hell is a bitch. 
Um, I don't think there's any other demotes. Uh, like instant demote or anything. It's just Aryan with whatever weapon that is. I forgot. It's the one that's not the gay bulg. <laughs> Um, but yeah, overall, pretty excited about this, uh, really excited about every unit on this banner, really excited to get Fabeo and Sed, especially Sed. Um, actually, the ratio between men and females on here are actually pretty, uh, even for once. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Plumeria seems really heckin' strong, man. Too bad she's color sharing with Fabeo, I feel like Fabeo's gonna get a lot of hate. Which is unwarranted, of course. He just so happens to be color sharing with blue. So, uh, I'm just gonna preemptively say, uh, back off on my boy Fabeo, okay? <laughs> he did nothing wrong. Uh, but yeah, so overall, this banner is pretty exciting. I love seeing new Drug Droll characters get in the game, finally. I guess it's still just three. Uh, it's just Fabeo, Fee, and Arian with an Ascended said. But hey, I will take it because that is... Super exciting, and Plumeria, I'm not the biggest Plumeria fan or anything by any means, but she she looks like a really strong unit. She's bringing in a lot of cool stuff to the game, and I'm really looking forward to how this shakes up the meta. So yeah, overall, uh, those are my overall thoughts on the uh, banner. Let me know how you guys feel. Are you guys going to summon on it? Are you guys really looking forward to getting that ploy skill for summoner duels? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this banner reaction. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.